and a big hello to you. I'm the Proto Badger. Nice to meet you. Photo rally. <laughs> Awkward. Um, nice to meet you too, I suppose. Thank you uh, for becoming my new paralysis demon. <laughs> when I lie awake in bed and I can't move an inch and I'll see your face right above me. Yes, yes, this is uh, quite good. Excuse me, but were you perhaps thinking of taking a picture of me? A picture? Of you? Why? I don't need a memento, I'll see you every night. Hello everyone, this is Boricua Binks and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations, Miles Edgeworth. It's been a while and I believe when we left, last left off, we had finished the last case, which was um, the Turnabout Airlines case. We were able to prove that Kimmy Meal did indeed kill the handsome Agent Hicks and she went pop pop. <laughs> <laughs> All her bubbles popped. So now we are done with that, but uh, Edgeworth had received a mysterious phone call, and now he's going to be dealing with another case immediately after. Like, the poor guy, he, he hasn't even had a chance to go home, take a shower, take a nap. You know, he's been through a lot. <laughs> Alright, let's continue on. Alright, so this is... The Kidnapped Turnabout. March 13th, 10, 11 a.m. Question, question, question. It's time. Don't worry, Mr. Edgeworth. I'll be following your every movement with my binoculars. Good to hear. Now make sure you don't lose sight of me. I'm counting on you for backup. You can count on me, sir. I have to go. The kidnapper is supposed to contact me soon. Who would have thought that upon my return, I'd be thrust into a kidnapping case? And that I would be the one who would have to make the ransom drop off? That's not good. But trust in Gumshoe, hmm. Let's see, I checked that the money is all there, safe inside this suitcase. Oh no, the suitcase! <laughs> to think that it actually is coming in handy, and we're going right into it too, so that's pretty interesting. I do like this music a lot, though. Now all I have to do is await further instructions from the kidnapper, which I'm expecting to be transferred to my cell phone. I wonder who else is around. This is the meeting place, after all. Oh? Gatewater. Oh god, it's the blue badger, but he looks so scary. His those eyes. I thought Cammy's eyes were bad, but oh my lord, those soulless eyes. <laughs> Nightmare fuel. There's a lot of things that are meant for children that to me like are traumatizing. What what is wrong with adults that they can't create something happy and innocent without it being creepy? <laughs> God, this is the revamped version of the, <laughs> the Badger song. <laughs> oh gosh. Welcome to Gatewater Land. Who? Oh, thank you, creepy creature. And a big hello to you. I'm the Proto Badger. Nice to meet you. Photo Rally. Awkward. Um, nice to meet you too, I suppose. Thank you uh, for becoming my new paralysis demon. <laughs> when I lie awake in bed and I can't move an inch and I'll see your face right above me. Yes, yes, this is uh, quite good. Excuse me, but were you perhaps thinking of taking a picture of me? A picture? Of you? Why? I don't need a memento. I'll see you every night. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm not interested. I don't swing that way. Oh, 
Oh, that's too bad. Well, have a good day. I'll see you tonight. Hello. Who are you? You're not Ernest Amano. It sounds like the kidnapper is using some sort of voice alteration device. I'm his representative, Miles Edgeworth. Aren't you a cop? No, I'm... a prosecutor. You sure that was a good idea to just be upfront and honest? They're like, what the hell? <laughs> you should have at least lied to me, dude. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be funny, like, he's gonna deposit the suitcase and they're gonna be like, it's so hideous, they'll just grab all the money and run and leave the suitcase behind. Be like, damn it, I still couldn't get off, uh, get away with it. Wait, get it off my hands. I think that's what I was trying to say, but my brain said it the wrong way. Alrighty then. I know what you're wondering. And yes, I have brought the ransom money with me. I see. In that case, bring the money with you to the stadium. So this person intends to see if I'm being followed, huh? Please, Detective Gumshoe, I really need you to come through for me this one time. Every other time, I can forgive your incompetence, but this one time, I need you to actually do your job well. Oh, little girl. Alright. Oh. oh my god, that's a symbol that looks familiar! Wait, I forgot, did this game come out before or after? But that's totally the Gavinor's symbol. Hey! Back when uh, baby Clavier was, was still uh, a big rock star rather than prosecuting. Edgeworth speaking. Next, come to the haunted house. And just how long do you intend to have me wander around for? That's, that's for me to decide. decide. You don't, don't have, have much of a choice, choice here, here, my friend. I suppose not, and I'm not your friend. I ain't your friend, guy. I ain't your guy, buddy. I ain't your buddy, pal. <laughs> That's a South Park reference, by the way. I've arrived. Go inside. Ooh. That's creepy. Wait, why did the suitcase look different? The color is completely different. Eh? Trick mirrors? Ooh, creepy sounds, alright. Hmm, what a dismal place. That's it. Go through those doors. Am I being watched from somewhere? You must be. Ah, this looks like a completely different game. It's pretty cool, actually. I would love to play a game like that. Like, with this style, this art style. I like it. Leave the money and go. Now. Rude. Oh. What was that? Stock a psych lock breaking? <laughs> That's what it sounded like. Yeah. Did he hear that? I was hoping for an exchange, but maybe I should do as they say for now and not push it. I couldn't catch even a glimpse of the kidnapper. Perhaps I should keep an eye on this haunted house. Did I say that word? Haunted house. I think I said haunted. Haunted. <laughs> Until police backup arrives. Huh. 
I, I can't do anything. Oh no! Those eyes! I knew it! Edgeworth, look out! Behind you! No! And Edward died. Ugh! It was a trap! No! Edgy poo! <laughs> March 13th, 1123 AM. Question marks. That guy. Betrayed. No, can't be. Then the deal. Who is that? And what are they talking about? Split. Police. All right. In front of... Meet up. I can't move my body. Am I dead or am I in limbo? I... I fear I may faint again. Bam. One hit to the head and that could be it for you, you know? Hey! That's a, a kinky position. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I'm just I'm just being stupid. That's an interesting uh, costume head you got there, Edgy. Where am I? How long was I out? It wasn't raining like it is now when I made the drop off. This was supposed to be a simple affair. So why have I been taken hostage as well? Yeah, that sucks. Beanie, come save your boy. Your hubby. I can only assume Detective Gumshoe lost sight of me at some point. Typical. I should have known better than to trust him. <laughs> of all people. Yeah, he can totally watch my back and make sure nothing happens to me. Hmm. I will say, there's moments he'll come in handy and he'll do his job well, like that time in the first game when he saved Maya and Phoenix from uh, Vasquez and her goons. That was pretty great. Oh, and in the third game when he saved Phoenix and Maya from uh, <laughs> Mr. Armstrong and El Tigre. That was pretty great, too. But other times it's like, come shoot, please. You can do this, honey. Just focus. Think, 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 you know? <laughs> the only reason I agreed to be the drop-off man was because of that phone call. If only I'd let it go to voicemail. It was from Mr. Ernest Amono, Mr. Creepy Droopy Ears. God, he's... his ears. Ugh. The director of the powerful Zaibotsu the Amano group. But aside from that, I also owe him... Ooh, sorry. <laughs> I also owe him a great debt of gratitude. His only son, Lance, has been kidnapped. I know that Lance is already in his twenties, but I guess some things you never grow out of. I'm sorry. It doesn't matter how old you are, you could get kidnapped at any age, which is still why, like, why do they call it kidnap, but, you know. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, he gets kidnapped all the time since he was young. <laughs> Apparently. I can't sit around waiting for someone to come help me. I must escape somehow. <laughs> Edgeworth, the sounds you make are always so... <laughs> you <girl, you. laughs> What's wrong with you, sir? You're gonna give yourself a hernia. Please. Please. <laughs> Was that you making that funny sound? Who's there? And how dare you laugh at a gentleman's plight? Hey! It's the bay! Who are you? Are you one of the kidnappers? A kidnapper? Me? No way! No! 
not into such petty crimes. Nope, I'm after something much, much bigger. He's just looking at her like, what the hell? <laughs> you have an interesting way of dressing, young lady. Uh, takes one to know one, look at ya. Ugh, I must be worn out from today's ordeal. Focus smiles. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. Sorry about that. Ahem. <sighs> Got interrupted. <clears throat> Even in the depths of night, when no other bird dares to take flight. One alone soars to shine the light of righteousness on the world's blight. And that one is me. For I am the Great Thief Yadagarasu. The Great Thief? Did she really just claim to be the Yadagarasu? Oh, but my real name is Kay Faraday. Are you sure that's a good idea to tell a stranger your real name, honey? <laughs> Especially if you're a thief. I love her music, by the way. Her design, her music, her personality, I love her. You can call me Kay, Kay? Good. Glad that's settled. It's like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Not quite. I have a mountain of questions for you. But first, if you would be so kind as to remove these ropes. Ah, I wonder, should I remove them? I was actually having a lot of fun watching you make those silly faces. <laughs> making another one. <laughs> Edgeworth, stop! Hey, there's no need to get all mad and icy glary on me, you know? This rope goes through here, and there you go! What a relief. I owe you my thanks. Ah, it's okay. You can pay me back in full later. Now then, what question should I start with? Unfortunately, I can already tell nothing is going to be easy with this cheeky girl. Hey, Edward, be happy! It's a sign that this is your game. You are the protagonist. Because now you're just like Phoenix and Apollo. You have yourself a cheeky little adorable sidekick. Alright, great thief. You call yourself a great thief, yet are you really a thief at all? You doubt me? I get it. You think that a young lady like me couldn't possibly be such a big-time thief, right? That's not the part I have a tough time believing. I am the real, genuine Yadagarasu, you know. Yep, I'm a pure-blooded great thief. It's a little something I inherited from my predecessor. In that case, you wouldn't mind if I rested you then, right? What? Of course I'd mind! I haven't stolen anything yet! Seriously, I don't know how you c How can you say such a horrible thing to your savior? That's true. Technically, she hasn't stolen anything in front of me... yet. Although, was this breaking and entering? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, Yadagarasu. When you say you're the Yatagarasu, do you mean you are THE Yatagarasu? Yep. The most righteous of the righteous. The legendary Great Thief. But the title has only recently succeeded to me. So, I haven't had a chance to steal anything yet as the second Yadagarasu. I was not aware that thieves could pass down their titles like that. It's almost like an anime, right? But don't worry, I've got some big plans in the works. Big plans, huh? They wouldn't happen to lead to a big arrest, would they? I knew it! There's just no reasoning with a prosecutor. It's like, arrest this, arrest that. All you do is point your finger, man. Uh, how dare you talk about my finger? 
Hey, if it's in my face, I have the right to talk about it. I'm not the problem here. I'll have you know that the Yadagarasu has no interest in stealing petty trinkets. There's one thing and only one thing I want to steal. Only one thing? And what would that be? Yowie. What? Uh, nothing. But that's going to have to wait until we have until we find our way out of here. Well, at least there is one thing we agree on. I'm sure I'll have plenty of time later to learn more about you. So, you never tell me what your name is, Mr. Prosecutor. Oh, I guess not. I'm Miles Edgeworth. Wait a minute, how does she know he's a prosecutor? Did he say that? Wow, I'm sorry, I got so distracted earlier that now my brain is like, eh? Aha! Now I remember! How can you remember something I just told you? But she sure is cheery. Alright then, Mr. Edgeworth, let's get out of here. Huh? Um, well, uh, <laughs> I, I thought this would be quick and easy, but, uh, I guess I was wrong. Mind, uh, helping me out a bit there, Mr. Big Strong Prosecutor Man? No, I'll just stand here and watch you continue to do that futilely. Huh. Well, I think we might as well end the episode right here. Thanks guys for watching and stay tuned for next time when I make sure that Mr. Edgeworth gives me some yaoi. What was that? Ah, nothing. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching! If you enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And also make sure to ring the bell for notifications for new episodes. You can follow me on Twitch where I stream every week. And also follow me on Twitter for updates. Until next time, have a nice day. Adios!